Best laugh I ever got in my life, folks. I can tell you the exact time, date, and when it was. It was June 18th, 2006. It was 6.45, 6.50 in the morning, and it was one laugh. And it's the best laugh I ever had in my life, and the one I'll go to my grave remembering. My mother had had breast cancer four years before, beat it, and traveled the world. And because she had massive amounts of chemotherapy, she got what's called chromosomal leukemia. That's what we called it. There's a technical name for it. And she had fought it for a year, and it was a good fight. And it was at the end. <laughs> but that morning, June 18th, 2006, 6.45 in the morning, we knew it was very close to the end. We were at home. Hospice was there. My brother and sister said their goodbye to mom. And I went in, and I'm the oldest. And I leaned in, and I said, well, it's time, dear. I always called her boss. I go, boss, it's time. You've done everything you can do. You've raised some really good kids. You've made all the arrangements. It's time to go be with Jesus. She goes, that's right. I want to go be with Jesus. I want to see Juanita. That was her mother. And Jap, that was her dad. And Aunt Nellie, who had passed two months earlier, her younger sister, to cancer. She said, and I hope I see your dad. Really? <laughs> Mom, do you remember dad? <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure you're not gonna see him, dear. You might get a postcard from him. I bet it'll be burnt round the edges. I'm not making one word of this up. Cause this is how I handle grief. She goes, oh, don't say that. I gotta believe Lenny's in heaven waiting for me. I gotta believe your dad's up there. And I go, mom, if St. Pete grades on that bell curve, there's hope for all of us. Which I thought was pretty clever, considering how bad things were at this moment. She goes, don't say that. That's horrible. I go, yes, I know. I'll probably go to hell for that. But at least I'll be around people I know. And it'll be really easy to get a lawyer. I'll te tell Dad you said hi. <laughs> no joke. So she said, well, it's time. I said, it's time. And it was getting really close. So I leaned in. I said, honey, there's one thing you got to tell me, mom, before you leave this world. There's one thing I got to know. And very weak, very last breath, she goes, what, son? I said, that I was your favorite and you love me most of all. <laughs> and she burst out laughing. And it sounded like angel's wings rustling. And she just laughed, and the last words my mother said to me before she left this world was, you're so crazy. <laughs> and she closed her eyes, and about 30 minutes later, she was gone. 45 minutes later, she was gone. Now, the next day, we go to the funeral home, Thomas's funeral home. And I go in, I said, Greg, I'd like to see Mom. He says, sure, Jerry. He says, she looks lovely. And we walked in, and she looked like she'd been laying on a beach in Hawaii. Gorgeous, tan. I said, dude, how did you do that? And how did you put that big smile on her face? He said, first of all, I didn't touch your mom at all. She came in, all of a sudden she got this beautiful glow like she'd been laying on the beach. He goes, and second of all, dude, I don't know what you did, but she came in this place with a huge smile on her face and she's gonna leave here with a big smile on her face. So I love the fact that I made you folks laugh, but I'm gonna tell you something. If I never get another laugh the rest of my life, I sent my mom to heaven with a smile on her face. Guys, thank you so much for having me here.